One day, four years after the passing of my son Matthew, I was driving past a park that needed some TLC, and a thought came to me, why not fix up this park in honour of our soldiers? I'd like to start by saying how honoured and pleased I am to be with you here today to dedicate this amazing project, Bravery Park, to my friend and colleague, Corporal Matt McCulley. Being a soldier is about service, duty, bravery, and sacrifice. And I was very eager to get overseas and do my job as a Canadian soldier. So was Matt. Matt showed me and others that he was as committed to the mission as the rest of us, just by the way he did his job. Never wavered, always did his duty. He was just as keen at midnight on a long day that started at midnight the day before as he was at 10 a.m. with a coffee in his hand and that goofy smile that always endeared me to him. We love that guy. I hope we will draw strength from remembering the efforts of Canadian veterans. It is those veterans of Afghanistan who are at the front of the line in recognizing the connections that were forged with whom they fought to protect and those who helped them perform their missions. Although this park is often portrayed as a memorial to my brother, it isn't and never was. He inspired it. But this park has always been about all of you. The men and women of Orangeville were an integral part of all of these operations. Their contributions and bravery will be forever woven into the history of the regiment. We will remember them, lest we forget. Bravery, it's not the absence of fear, but the willingness to proceed in spite of it. To Shannon and Valerie McGrady, out of tragedy and loss, you have steadfastly and persistently worked at this project for years to ensure that Matthew's sacrifice was not in vain and that we remember and salute all of our past, present and future Canadian Forces personnel. Thank you, Matthew. You are remembered for all time.